it is almost 1 a.m. in the morning and I just got my makeup done for this video. So now like to my neighbors and my parents are gonna question my insanity. <laughs> it's just things I do for YouTube, I guess. Hello people who yell at other people on a daily basis. My name is Essie and welcome to another episode of How to Cantonese. Last week I made a promise of making a funnier video in this week. So here we are talking about insult and stuff. Yeah, we finally got that cover in our channel now. One does not simply learn a foreign language without its insults. But before your kids go wild and start jumping all over the place, we're not going through those reproductive system organs or anything about doing other people's mom. Sorry if that's what you're looking for, but I'm sure you can find something like that in the vast ocean of YouTube. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate or despise cursing words. In fact, they are one of the most beautiful slash marvelous part in the Cantonese language. It is just, you know, people don't just go around and swear 24-7. Instead, they use expressions that are more subtle and socially acceptable. And in Cantonese, one way to do so is by comparing a person to an animal. Sometimes I guess in other languages it can be a positive or a compliment kind of thing. Yet in Cantonese, the results are at best inappropriate, at worst personal insulting. So do it at your own risk. So without further ado, let's start with animals as insults in Cantonese. The first one we have here is Gai Chicken. And when Gai is used to refer to a woman, that's bad. Really, really bad. Because at that moment, Gai becomes hooker. Not even prostitute, but hookers. So, now you know how bad that is. What if the person that I want to insult is a man? Do I call him a rooster gong guy? Well, no. Um, in the same scenario, if that person is a man, instead of rooster, we use duck. Ngap in Cantonese. So now you know ngap refers to male sex workers. Is that even the PC way to say it. Moving on. In real life, we might not have that many opportunities to call someone a guy or a ngap, but we'll definitely use this one pretty much on a daily basis. Yes, you've guessed it, idiot. An animal equivalent of idiot in Cantonese is chu which is pig. To say someone is as stupid as a pig is in Cantonese that is ju gam chum. Poor pigs always being discriminated in many cultures. Well unlike pigs, dogs are generally liked or even loved by many people in many cultures. But the thing is if you try to compliment someone by saying they are like a dog, then my advice to you is don't because you get yourself into big troubles and that's because dogs aka gao in Cantonese has a very negative feelings when it is used on human. It either means despicable, shameless or inferior in a bad way. I guess it's kind of like being called a peasant in English. A question, question time. How bad is it to be called a peasant? Is it like, oh, look at, look at, look at them trying so hard to insult people. Oh, that's cute. Or is it like, I'm going to eat your whole family alive. Kind of insulting. And so please, let's move on to the last one. The last one we have 
here today in this episode is se, snake in English. In Western culture, I guess snakes are more like a symbol of evilness. You speak powerful tongue, so you're bad. You're bad with it. But somehow, weirdly, in Cantonese, snakes are more like a symbol of laziness. The expression se wong in Cantonese is to sky and say se lan sin a dead snake and a rotten eel literally in Cantonese that means lazy as fuck so now you know how to insult people in a more subtle way in Cantonese but but don't go yell at people randomly all the time well at least don't tell them that you learn it from me, okay? To be honest, the main reason. The main reason. To be honest, the main reason for me to talk about insults and stuff in this video is that I feel like it is necessary for foreign learners to know the undertone of some of the insult-looking expressions, so that you can actually know what people are trying to say when they say something that looks innocent and sounds innocent. Okay, let's end the episode here. If you have any kinds of questions about this video or anything else actually, leave a comment down below and if you enjoyed this video and you find it actually funnier than the one last week, give it a thumbs up and yeah, thanks. Subscribe to this channel as well if you want more future Cantonese related stuff and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!